SEO. It's important, but super overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. Let's run through 16 steps you can take to set yourself up for success. We have the full guide linked below that dives deeper into each of the tips I'm about to share. So definitely check that out. Number one, get reliable hosting. Choosing the right hosting provider is a critical factor, mainly because it can affect website speed and performance. We'll link our favorites in the description below, but our top pick would be to go with a managed WordPress hosting company like SiteGround. You'll get a free SSL certificate, CDN, and other built-in site tools. And if you sign up using our link, we'll earn a commission which helps support our team in all of our ad-free videos. Number two, get an SSL and use HTTPS. Modern browsers and Google no longer consider website URLs using HTTP to be secure. Using HTTPS lets Google and your users know that your URL uses a secure server to share information. To do this, you'll need an SSL certificate. These are often provided for free by your hosting provider. You could also use a plugin or a third-party service like Cloudflare. Number three, choose an SEO friendly WordPress theme. Ideally, you'll want a WordPress theme that is fast and lightweight, but with the rising popularity of page builders, you will likely need to find a balance between speed and design options. Even robust page builders like our own Divi have taken strides to maximize performance by eliminating necessary bloat. In addition to speed, look for themes that use proper SEO headings, have clean code, are responsive, and are updated often. Themes like GeneratePress will have these features built in. We'll leave a list of SEO friendly themes below. Number four, allow search engines to index your website. Don't make the mistake of skipping this small step before launching your WordPress website. Simply navigate to settings, reading. Next to the option, search engine visibility, there's a checkbox. Make sure this box is unchecked. If not, you're asking Google to ignore you. Number five, choose www or non www. When you first install WordPress and go through the setup process, you can pick whether or not to include www in the URL. To see what format your site is using, you can find it in the WordPress dashboard under settings general. Both versions are acceptable, although some argue that there may be a slight edge in favor of using www. Most SEO experts agree that you can use either format as long as you keep it consistent throughout your site. Google will treat them as separate URLs, resulting in duplicate content that may negatively affect your SEO. In short, pick one and stick with it. Number six, set SEO friendly permalinks and slugs. In WordPress, permalinks refer to the URL structure of your site. Setting your permalinks to the post name format is common practice. This structure provides search engines and users with more text that describes the content of your page or post. For example, if you're writing a post on WordPress SEO, it's better to have WordPress SEO in your URL instead of a number like 123, especially if you are trying to rank for that keyword or phrase. To change your permalink settings, go to your dashboard under settings, permalinks, then select post name. Permalinks, as the name suggests, should be considered permanent. That means you should never change the permalink settings on your live site or the permalink of a page or post. This will result in broken links and hurt your SEO. If you must change a permalink, use the proper 301 redirect. Number seven, use categories and tags for SEO. Categories and tags are the default taxonomies that allow you to organize posts and pages. Using them properly can positively affect user experience, allowing users to sort and filter content to find what they need within a particular topic. In general, it is best to use categories for large groups of content under a broad topic, like WordPress, business, design, and so on. Tags can be helpful for users to find more or specific topics, and you can add multiple tags to a post as long as you use them purposefully and consistently. Number eight, choose your WordPress SEO plugin. Popular SEO plugins like Rank Math or Yoast SEO will include most of the features, tools, and flexibility you need. These plugins can help optimize your entire website. We recommend Rank Math because of its powerful SEO features, tremendous community support, and seamless integration with popular WordPress themes. With its easy to use interface, you can use Rank Math to optimize your on-page SEO on the front or back end. Use our link below to get started and help support our channel. Number nine, submit an XML sitemap. It's an XML file on your website that provides a structured map of all of the pages and posts throughout your site. 
They can be submitted directly to search engines so they can have an accurate map of your site, which lets them more effectively read and index your content. In WordPress, you can submit your sitemap to Google directly or use a sitemap plugin. SEO plugins like Rank Math will have a built-in feature to generate your XML sitemap. Number 10, use keyword research to plan content. Keyword research helps you determine what keywords people are currently searching so you can find the right ones to target when planning your content. To learn how to do it the right way, check out our complete guide on how to do keyword research. There are SEO tools to help with keyword grouping, mapping, tracking, and more. Some SEO tools like SEMrush provide an all-in-one SEO and keyword research solution to ensure you cover the right topics and adequately address user intent. Number 11, write high quality SEO content. There really is no way around this one. High quality content is still the most essential aspect of your SEO strategy. Whether you are writing blog posts or sales copywriting, your goal is to create content that outperforms your competition and meets the needs of your visitors. Check out this video where we show off some AI tools that can help you out there. Number 12, optimize your post or page content for SEO. Writing high quality content is only half the battle. You'll also need to optimize your content for SEO. This involves several on-page SEO tasks, including optimizing HTML structure, keywords, syntax, readability, schema markup, internal, external links, images, etc. This may sound like a lot, but your SEO plugin can help streamline this process. Rank Math will allow you to optimize these elements in real time while writing your post. And you can use its AI generated suggestions based on your content to improve your SEO score for each page or post. Number 13, optimize images for WordPress SEO. Images can have a big impact on your SEO. However, it probably has more potential to harm your ranking than it does to improve it. Make sure you are compressing and resizing using the correct file types, adding lazy loading and image alt text. We'll leave a link to plugins and guides to help you do all of that. Number 14, optimize your links. Links are essential for SEO in a lot of ways. The two types of links are internal links, links to other pages on your site, and external links, links to pages on a different site. The other important link type is called backlinks or inbound links, which are links to your site from other websites. Earning quality backlinks involves a link building strategy that is more difficult to achieve because it involves convincing other websites to link to your content. All three are important for SEO. You can learn more from our SEO links beginners guide, where we also discuss no follow and follow links, plugins that can help like Link Whisperer and more. Number 15, avoid creating duplicate content. Duplicate content is the same or very similar content that can be found in multiple locations or URLs. This can happen for a few reasons, but it'll lead to each variation competing against each other in the ranks or the wrong version being indexed. Check out our guide to duplicate content and SEO for more details. And finally, number 16, optimize speed and performance. Search engines like Google use several core web vitals and metrics to determine how well your site performs, which can significantly impact your rankings. The easiest way to check your website speed and performance metrics is to use a free online tool like GT Metrics or Google's PageSpeed Insights. These tools will give you an overall score and a list of improvements that could be made to improve your score. We have a whole playlist dedicated to understanding the results these tools give you. And there you go. Those are 16 different things you need to consider when it comes to WordPress SEO. Again, check out the links in the description. We have everything you could possibly want linked down there, including the full guide, which goes into way more detail on all 16 different tips. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more like it. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.